Welcome into another Fraternity V blog. There's a war going on to redefine masculinity. Culture is trying to make men believe that these new ideals of masculinity, of how men should be, how men should act, is something that's just been discovered. In reality, it's been going on since Adam and Eve. You see, it was a result of a lie that Adam and Eve bought into. And the result of that lie for Adam and Eve is now they have to live their life trying to figure out who and what they are by their own wisdom. You see, they discovered something they had never had before, and that was shame. Adam and Eve are now ashamed of who they've become. They cover themselves in the presence of each other. They hide in the trees when God comes to visit. God asks Adam some very important questions that reveals what Adam thought about himself in Genesis chapter 3. God asked Adam, where are you? Adam replied, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. You see, Adam has lost his sense of being. He's now judging himself not on relationship, but his sinful action. He now has no sense of honor or dignity or self-worth before God or man. He feels inferior and worthless. Adam's sense of worthlessness coupled with the lie about God's character causes Adam to run and hide. You see, Adam believed the lie which promised that in his state of rebellion, he would now attain godhood. Instead, he lost his manhood. He lost all of his identity of who he was as a man. Adam now believes something is wrong with him, and he sets out on a search to fix himself. The question that God asks where are you and what have you done are expressions of love, not judgment. This is a great picture of God's unconditional love. Men, God's love is not based upon what we have done or what we will do, but on who God is and what God will do when we surrender our lives to Him. Men, stop listening to culture and believing the lie and step into the original world, the original culture of being unconditionally loved by God. We are the fraternity.